don't try this at home, but if you were to fill your kitchen sink with warm water and dish detergent and then take a duck and place that duck into your kitchen sink, you would find that the duck would sink to the bottom like a stone and would drown. Now, you may say, wait, I don't understand. I see ducks on the lake all day long. They float beautifully. The reason why they float is because their feathers are covered with oil. You see, the oil repels the water. The feathers are very, very large. They don't have much density to them. Because they're covered with oil, the water doesn't penetrate. So the displacement of the duck is far greater than the water. The duck floats nicely along the surface of the water. But if you were to take that duck and put it into warm dish detergent, the warm dish detergent would cut through the oil. The water would then be absorbed into the feathers of the duck. The duck would become so heavy that it would sink to the bottom of your sink and it would drown. So here's the question. How does the oil get to the feather of the duck? Well, very interesting to note. There are glands within the body of the duck, and what the duck will do is preen. It'll move its beak and take the oil and smear it over its feathers, over its feathers, over its feathers. Now, needless to say, no one teaches the duck basic chemistry. No one teaches the duck that oil and water doesn't mix, but the duck has implanted into it the wisdom that it needs. If you've ever watched a swan, 25,000 feathers cover the body of that swan. And all day long she's preening. Under her armpit are these oil glands. And all day long she's moving her neck, moving her beak across her feathers, making sure the feathers are straight, making sure that they're covered with oil. She doesn't know why, but because of it she floats. And when you begin studying the wisdom that's invested into the creation, you begin to see the wisdom of its creator and the greatness of our creator. <laughs>